reflecting on the work in the social norm space, uh, I would uh, primarily make recommendations that are related to uh, research methods, design, and measurement of social norms. So uh, when I think about design, uh, basically what I have in my mind is that uh, a researcher should carefully look at the initiative, uh, even when that initiative is not related to the question of social norms directly. Um, it is important to understand the different power asymmetries that can be generated by the said initiative, by the implementation of that initiative. So while designing any initiative or any intervention or any program, it is important to consider the different steps that will be involved and think about the power asymmetry at each of the decision modes. Um, who are the stakeholders and how will they be affected by this power asymmetry? Um, would this asymmetry affect their preferences? Would this asymmetry limit their choice set or limit their agency to take decisions? Um, and whether something could be done to make this process uh, more equitable than what it already is? Uh, or should there be added safeguards uh, for the vulnerable population? Uh, in terms of measurement of norms, I think one should carefully think about the different biases that will hamper the elicitation of true preferences or uh, elicitation of the actual beliefs of uh, the target population. Uh, so there could be social desirability bias, there could be pro program bias, or there could be something called the positionality bias where uh, the respondents may view you as outsiders and therefore may not be very comfortable uh, or truthful in sharing uh, their beliefs uh, with you. So thought should be given to whether the respondent will be comfortable uh, talking to a male or a female surveyor or implementer. Uh, thought should be given to how the cultural impediments will inhibit our understanding of uh, the norms or our interpretation of the existing norms. So as an example, what uh, we may consider as dowry can be considered as a part of ritual or marriage custom for the target community. Therefore, strategies or languages that are culturally more cohesive uh, should be adopted. Uh, finally, uh, with respect to research methods, it is important to understand if they are unintentionally leaving certain uh, populations out of the program. Uh, further, I think it would be good to use a mix of both quantitative methods and qualitative methods and understand which method will do what uh, for the objective at hand. Uh, instead of you know, just restricting to one or the other. I think that never uh, works. Uh, so one should constantly be engaging with the methodological toolkit at one's disposal and constantly, you know, we should try to expand that.